part's really sad. Who are we to choose who lives or dies? That's not what we do. We help our patients, all of them. That's a nice sentiment, but it won't help when we run out of supplies. I've seen this happen in combat before. We're fighting right now to protect the people you're talking about. If you let these people die, that fight is for nothing. It's not that simple. If we aren't careful about this now, we'll end up losing everyone. Then we'll find a way. Look, we have more fortunate patients, right? Yes. And I hate to say it, but the fortunate ones have far better survival odds. And more credits. So we ask them for donations. To get more supplies. For those without credits. What? Are you saying what I think you're saying? That's... You know, that, that actually might work. I understand Palavin is very busy, but this is one of your own generals. He was stabbed with a poison blade by a server. There's got to be something. I don't know what Cerberus was packing, but we're going to lose this patient. Without a new treatment plan, we're stuck. I can't. There's nothing in you. Alright, we just lost some more friends. the embassies. Go to the docks. Um, purgatory. Spectre status recognized. Please select. One moment, please. And then we'll go back to the Normandy. Commander Shepard? Solik Vaz, documentary maker. Please, maybe you can help. I'm trying to document the stories of the refugees coming to the Citadel. Their loss, their sacrifices, their moments of bravery. Something holding you back? CSEC won't allow me on the docks. They say I'd be disruptive. But you could catch a few quick shots for me. Good idea. The galaxy should see what these refugees have been through. Thank you, Commander. That's exactly what I'm hoping for. If you could just take a few shots with your Omni tool in the refugee camp. I'll be here when you're done. So don't take a picture here, that's kind of stupid. Um. Here. Yes, that's just what this documentary needs. No, not there. I don't think that will quite fit the documentary's tone. Huh, <laughs> oops. Bottom picture. Doo -doo -doo. Um. What are you doing? I'm waiting. Great shot, Commander. Look for my parents. They put me on the rescue transport and said to wait for the I need support. Someone sabotaged the Metagel dispensers, and I've got some idiot preaching about Cerberus down here. No, I've contacted CSEC. They said it's not a priority and it doesn't matter. What matters is that I've got Turian soldiers dying for lack of medication. Shepard, you saved my life again. What happened? Cerberus troopers came through here to secure the docks. They lined us all up. Then one of them started asking around for me by name. But they didn't find you. Their record said I went off-grid. If I hadn't changed my identity, I don't know what would have happened. Thank you. I've heard so many sad stories. These people have lost so much. Yeah, so if you don't convince her to change her identity, uh, she gets killed, too. 
you really have to work hard to protect her. Son of a bitch. James? Hey, Commander. James, enjoying yourself? Yeah, yeah. Try not to lose everything. Those clothes are Alliance property. Have a little faith, Lola. I have a little. You just gonna stand there and watch? You're kind of making me nervous, Commander. I'd ask them to deal you in, but I think they're afraid of you. You're kind of killing my mojo here, Hefe. I was up a minute ago. You just came by at a bad time. You just gonna stand there and watch? Come no, on. Okay, I think one of the things is over here. Listen, please, we just need more food. Nice location of some ruins. Prothean ruins on Gay Hinnom, the Hades Nexus. If you could get past the Reaper patrols, I'm sure you'd find something. Mm -hmm. Oh, look who it is. Cerberus wants our help. And if Cerberus is good enough for Commander Shepard, it should be good enough for us. Oh, for the love of... Commander Shepard, it's me, Conrad Werner. Wow, it's great to see you again. I joined Cerberus, too. Conrad, Cerberus just tried to kill the Council. I'm not working with them. Oh, no. I screwed up again, didn't I? Just... I'm sorry if I ever accused you of pointing a gun at me when you didn't actually do that. I was really stressed out. <laughs> what can you tell me about your Cerberus contacts? Not much. They wanted me to help recruit people near the medical station. Which was sabotaged while you had everyone distracted. Oh. Oh, wait. 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 No. I'll deal with it. Just don't do anything. Okay. But I might be able to help you with... Whatever you're doing now that isn't Cerberus. Conrad... I'm building an ancient Prothean dark energy device to stop the Reapers. Can you help with that? Well, I did write my doctoral dissertation on xenotechnology and dark energy integration. Really? Yes. In fact, I may be able to find some ancient tech schematics that could help you with construction. Hang on. I have an old contact. Ah, come on, Hossel. Help me out. Sorry. The war has him scared. Hossel? Gavin Hossel, the tech researcher? I did him a favor once. Tell him this is for me. I had no idea you two knew each other. Small universe. Okay, he's forwarding the schematics over. Oh no, it's in an ancient Asari dialect. We'd need a lot of ancient Asari writing to translate. Would this collection of Asari matriarch writing help? Uh, yes. Yes, it would. Okay, it's auto-translating. Let's see. Oh, no. The technology falls under an existing patent. I can't actually access the schematics without a license from, let's see, Elkos Combine? How did you even? Well, this is great. Okay, here you go. Hope this helps you build that dark energy device. Anyway, good luck fixing the metagel dispensers. I'll just be here. Not touching anything. Weren't you running a shelter for war orphans on Ilium? Yeah, it was doing well until the Reapers attacked. Ended up spending most of what I had left getting the kids off world. I'm sorry if that was... No, you did the right thing. Thanks. You doing okay? I'm doing great. Listen, can I ask you something, though? Do you really think you'll defeat the Reapers? We'll defeat them or we'll die trying. There's no other option. Yeah, okay. Listen, another question. Do you really think you'll defeat the Reapers? You just asked me that, Conrad. Sorry. I like to ask all the questions I can think of, and sometimes I forget which ones I've asked already. I should go. Seems this place is hard-pressed for supplies. I think I saw some guys fighting over a thermal clip. A what? A thermal clip. 
They stop weapons from overheating. Sorry, just a joke. Wait, where do these thermal clips come from? I thought weapons cooled down. They used to. After the Geth attack a few years back, we switched to thermal clips. Well, that sounds like a major step backward. It lets guns fire with more power, and soldiers can pop in a new clip instead of waiting for the gun to cool. Fine, sure. You can still wait for your gun to cool down on its own, though, right? No, the in-gun cooling tech was sacrificed to make room for the thermal clips. Okay, that's just... <laughs> you might as well be going back to limited ammunition. It's not ammunition, Conrad. I just don't think it's a very good idea. I'll be sure to let every military organization in the galaxy know that. Did you lose anyone back on Earth? No. I mean, extranet friends and such. But I don't really have any family left. What about your wife? Conrad, do you even have a wife? Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Well, no. But see... Conrad, if you have some kind of weird shrine of me, I am going to be very unhappy. It's just a poster with a few candles. It's very tasteful. Gah! <laughs> Conrad! You're creepy. Okay. Meta gel dispensers. I think we fixed them all, didn't we? Oh. There's one. Okay, let's go back and let the doctor know the good news. Hey, bud. I fixed the sabotage. The meta gel dispenser should be working now. Thank you. I'll get patients moving through triage immediately. Great work, Shepard. And listen, I'm sorry for... Hey, that's him. That's my Cerberus contact. Hey, hey, you! You're under arrest. ago when I was working undercover at Cora's Den. And now you're volunteering here. Right. Chalik showed me a few little tricks when he had me working undercover. Guess that paid off, huh? You... you saved my life. I can't believe you were willing to lay down your life for Commander Shepard. You're so brave. Oh, the Commander and I go way back. Let me give you a hand, and I can tell you about it. If you didn't do the genocide mission, uh, he dies. <laughs> but if you did, it looks like Conrad's got himself a girlfriend. Alright, we've done everything we can here, I think. Oh yeah, we need to go uh, talk to the Solarian journalist guy. Got footage. I have your footage. Thank you, Commander. I'll start editing it right away. Okay. Now it's on to Purgatory and then back to the Normandy. One moment, Uh, hey, listen, I want to check something out really quick. I'll be right back. Okay, we're good. I just wanted to check how much time we had left to record. But we're good. Now arriving at board level
head up here. I'm curious. What material is your face made from? The surface is a flexible biomimetic nanomaterial over a metallic skull. The skin uses sheer thickening technology to help protect the central processing unit in the head. If the skin is struck or shot, it solidifies to absorb the impact. It also is capable of limited self-healing. And what about the hair? It is of similar construction. For defense, I have set it to cohere into a solid piece. However, for infiltration purposes, it can be parted into individual strands. If it has recently been exposed to water, I generally can't do a thing with it. If I'm not needed to answer an inquiry, I would like some time alone. Fine, then. Hello, Cortez. Shepard, you made it. Come have a drink with me. You looking happy? You had it right. Yesterday can't change. Tomorrow, we might all be dead. Today is what matters. I'm not wasting it. I wouldn't have thought a club would be to your tastes. You don't have to get all hot and bothered to appreciate graceful dancing. There's an energy here. There's light. And purgatory serves the best drinks. Here. To you, Steve. And to you, Shepard. A good friend when I needed one most. Thank you. For everything. Back on the Normandy. There we go. Glad he's feeling better. Hey, look at that. Ugh, this sucks. What have you got there? Duty roster for the students. It's what I do for fun now. They've got us spread out across alliance units, reinforcing barriers, modding ammo, that kind of thing. How are they holding up? They are fine. They're not the ones reading duty rosters while on shore leave. Complain if you like, but I think military life suits you. Hey, running back to the Alliance was your lifelong dream, not mine. Come on. Plenty of combat, free room and board, and people you can depend on. Yeah, yeah. Maybe your little suicide squad taught me something about teamwork. Speaking of which, thanks. My guys are handling the support stuff well. Still see some action, but they're not on the front lines. They've saved a lot of lives. It'd be a hell of a lot more fun with you. You find bigger fights. But the little shits are useless without me. I gotta stick with them. Cause I'm dependable now, apparently. I blame you for this, Shepard. Come on. What? The duty rosters can wait. Right now, you're on shore leave. Everybody knows you can't dance. <laughs> she can. Gotta love Jack. Alright, and we got another friend over here. Look at this! All it took was a Cerberus attack on the Citadel to get folks around here to pay attention to the war. How's this any different from normal? Can't you see the desperation? This isn't happy dancing. This is forget my problems dancing. Look at the arms. If a guy waves his arms like that, he's worrying about a lot more than looking stupid on the dance floor. That's surprisingly observant. I've had time to watch a lot of dancing from the sidelines. Speaking of which... Dancing? Watching from the sidelines. What do you think about me and Edie? You can flirt with him if you are female. If not, you can't. Why not? Because I could break a bone just from some light over the clothes action? Eh, it's always a risk. But then so are the Reapers. Yeah, I wasn't planning on dating Harbinger. You know what I mean. If we all ended up dead this time tomorrow, what would you regret? Getting a shattered pelvis and a broken heart. That's such a stupid idea. If you could be out there right now on the dance floor, would you be waving your arms? Yeah. 
Sounds like you got bigger things to worry about than looking stupid. Yeah, guess I do. Now, if you'll excuse me. And then you'll find Rob on the dance floor, so let's go check it out. And then back to the Normandy. Haven't broken anything yet. That's a start. And he's just standing there watching him. Okay. So we're good. Briefing private. Let's fill you in before the squad arrives. Ma'am, I'd have friend in security at some I'd recommend um saving right here. just happened. You sound angry. Not angry. Just not every day you have an armed standoff with someone you love. I want to want down and it's got me... I don't know. Okay. Talk to me. Let's have it. If I hadn't backed down first, I feel like you would have taken me out. I trusted you, and I knew you'd come around. That's all that matters. Main thing is we stop the coup and Cerberus is off the Citadel. Yeah, but sometimes the way a thing goes down does matter, Shepard. Later when you have to live with yourself. Knowing that you acted with integrity. But it matters. You're talking about Udina. You think he would have come in quietly? Caden, he gave you no choice. You had to take the shot. You acted with integrity. I saw the whole thing. All right. Thanks. Look, Shepard, there's, uh, there's another reason I'm here. Hackett offered me a position, but I'd turn it down in a second if there was a chance to join you in the Normandy again. Couldn't imagine meeting the Reapers without you. <sighs> Thank you, Commander. And Shepard, I need you to know that I'll never doubt you again. I get you back. Good to know. Welcome aboard, Major. Aye, aye, ma'am. Oh. All right, let's talk to everyone about the coup attempt. Shepard, I got Anderson patched in. I was just getting him up to speed. Udina? That SOB was always power hungry. But this? He wasn't in charge. Cerberus was just using him to take control of the Citadel. What the hell for? I don't know. Not yet. Could have been a lot worse. Shepard stopped the assassination attempt on Counselor Valorn. Kyle. What? Your assassin. I'll have Hackett send you my reports on him. I take it you two have met. Keely Sanders and I had our share of run-ins with him. I shot him in both legs once. Thought that might be the end of him. But he should have begun on Omega even stronger. Elusive man patch him up? That'd be my guess. Given what they were able to do with you and Grayson. It's a safe bet Lang's even more dangerous now. I'll take whatever advantage I can get against these bastards. Their attempts may have had at least one unintended side effect. I received word from the Asari counselor. 
They're requesting an update on the Crucible. Lang has them scared. Enough to send help? Hmm. Yes, the Asari and Solarians are both throwing in their support now. How's your progress on the Crucible? Good. Our estimates suggest we've completed nearly 50% of the known work. So quickly. Once decoded, the schematics are designed in such a way that allows our scientists to easily translate the information. It's not Prothean specific. Hmm. Are we any closer to understanding how to use it? That's still open for debate. Utilized in the right fashion, our scientists are convinced it can generate enough energy to destroy the Reapers. The question is, how will it dispense the energy? And in what form? You mean, how do you stop it from wiping us all out? Exactly. We think the catalyst is the key to determining how to focus its energy, how to direct its energy at the Reapers alone. I'm working on that. You'll find the answer, Shepard. I'll send you an update on the schematics. And in the meantime, we'll keep building. And we'll keep fighting. Make sure there's an Earth left to come back to. You've always trusted me. I won't let you down. We're still in this. The gods of war haven't given up on us yet. Good luck, both of you. Anderson out. Commander, the Tyrian fleet is stretched thin. We need more support ships. And the Quarians are willing to talk. Understood, sir. I'll look into it. Be careful. We've got reports of instability along the Geth border. Hack it out. Shepard, do you have a moment? A contact within Asari High Command was insistent I pass on a distress signal to you. Something they can't handle? From what I can tell, they sent several commando squads to investigate. None of them returned. They didn't ask me directly, but I think High Command is hoping you might help. What's your take on this? That they wouldn't ask for help if it wasn't important. The colony's coordinates are on the galaxy map. I'll try to figure out what's going on. Okay. Uh, lots more... Uh, more assets. Come on, stop freezing up. So yeah, um, some of these are things that you can find around the galaxy. <clears throat> Slarenzo only gave us one fleet, but whatever. Anyway, yeah, our EMS is a lot higher now. We're well on our way to getting the, the best uh, level of it. Bastards. And Dina, too. That's crap. Medina made a deal with the devil. He got what he deserved. <sighs> Damn, I could really use something to shoot right now. So servers wanted to go into politics, huh? Nice job shutting those assholes down. Didn't you used to work for those assholes? Something about leather seats. I worked for servers when they were vigilantes helping the helpless. Now they're a little too mainstream. And evil. The important thing is that you kick their asses. And Cadence back. He even remembered the first rule of serving on the Normandy. Don't shoot the commander. Go easy on Caden. He's been through a lot. Yeah, like drawing a gun on a superior officer. Nearly getting the council killed. That's not going to look good on the yearly performance review. Commander? Hello, Shepard. What's on your mind, Edie? The destruction of the Reaper on Tachanka. It is rare for a technologically superior force to be destroyed by an inferior one. Yeah, so now all we need is a gun that fires Thresher Moss. That was a joke. I'm sorry, Shepard. I was contemplating. The Reapers are more fallible than they proclaim. Despite its best efforts, the one on Tachanka was destroyed by a worm. This has caused me to reassess the probable period of time before I am non-functional. You're worried about dying? In a sense. My processing power is consumed with calculations to help us combat the Reapers. 
but I can run those scenarios with the rest of the crew. May I ask you another question that troubled Jeff? Here we go again. What is the purpose of synthetic life? It's not that different from organic life. A free-willed synthetic chooses what it wants. But the purpose of organic life is to preserve itself long enough to replicate copies of its genes in succeeding generations. My purpose is not so clear. The other successful synthetic life forms that I have examined for comparison are the Get and the Reapers. Reproduction isn't all there is. We find meaning in the work we do. Good deeds we accomplish, love. I see. I will search my files on the biographies of humans to see if prominent figures follow the pattern you suggest. It appears many humans did in fact do so. That was quick. Gotta love quantum computing. Shepard, I will alter my processing power to give priority to your stated goals. Duty, altruism, love. Wait, wait, you're just gonna turn yourself good? Can you do that? It should take some time. If I have further questions, I will speak with you again. Thank you. Are you and Caden okay? The last time he saw that body, it wasn't exactly pleasant. I have informed him of the situation. He is taking it well. Good. Hello, Shepard. Let's go talk to him. Be good to have him back on the Normandy. Commander, I've got a lead on something interesting. Have you got a minute? Commander, I realize there's a lot happening right now, but I found something you need to see. What have you got? A group of Cerberus scientists cut ties and fled. Perhaps they finally realized they were on the wrong side. We don't know what they were researching, but they were among the elusive man's top scientists. They could help build the Crucible. Maybe we could recruit them. Lots of Cerberus people think they're doing the right thing. I know I did. And you were right, Commander. Whatever crimes Cerberus is committing now, I was on Horizon when the Collectors attacked. Really? You'll recall I mentioned growing up in the Terminus systems. I was visiting my family at home. While the Alliance was running studies, you were saving me and my family. Has the Alliance tried to make contact with the scientists? They've been unable to find them, but they're searching. As is Cerberus. I've been monitoring Cerberus communications. I've charted signal frequency from various Cerberus cells by location and cross-referenced known ship movements. You found them? I believe so, yes. Nice work. Put it on the map and I'll give it a look. Thanks for your time, Commander. Commander? Caden time. Yeah, I've kind of run out of things to talk about, as usual. I'm tired, cut me some slack. Shepard, hell of a day. Udina loses his mind, the Citadel almost falls, and you almost had to put down a friend. Got a little tense there. If it had come down to it, could you have pulled the trigger? I don't see how. We start killing our friends and war turns into murder. But it doesn't always give us the easy way out, does it? At least Caden didn't have to join Ash. Let's hope she's looking out for us. This was her fight, too. Good to have Caden back. We can always use a friendly gun. seems so calm from here. There are people going through hell in a million different ways. Out there, I'm gonna want to be fighting alongside them, but I want to be here. You know? Sure. Thinking of anyone specific? I heard from my mom, Shepard. My dad is, um, he's a my 
presumed. Tell me what happened. You said they got out of Vancouver. He left Mom at the orchard and reported for active duty. It's all we know, but it's, uh, it's enough. She's alone in this now, in all this. I feel for you, Caden. And I'm glad you told me. There's strength in camaraderie. And empathy. Thanks. You're right. I don't know how you do it, Shepard. Keeping it all together like you do. Earth is always in the back of my mind. Haunting me. I get that. I do. And my students. Well, wherever they are. I know they're kicking ass. On Earth or somewhere. You know, when this war is over, there's gonna be one hell of a reunion party. Hell yeah. Dancing in the streets, hugging and crying. My mom's always wanted to travel off planet. I think I'll take her. Thanks for coming by. Good to have you back, Caden. Wait a second, we're not done talking. Hey, I bumped into Edie in the hall. It scared the shit out of me. You could have warned me. She looks good, though. Checking out other women? Unacceptable. Getting settled? Not much to unpack. Left Earth in a hurry. Just the clothes on my back and a few things I've picked up in the Citadel. Kinda like it. Living lean. Cerberus didn't cut corners rebuilding this place. There's a whole lot of credits in here. Can't wait to get back out there. Alright. Let's see what Liara has to say. Per your orders, I have the latest reports on the Council, Doctor. Their security is in disarray, but it would still be weeks before we could attempt to position any agents in their personal staff. And it's far too risky after Odina's coup. Postpone those deployments. At once. It's good to see you. Oh, nothing to say. I'm so okay. The emergency fund's gone, sir. We don't have the credits to hire enough ships to evacuate the colony before the Reapers get here. Not with the prices their captains are asking for. What about the military? They left an hour ago. They said... They said it's too much for us to come back. Did they? Yes, sir. Here. This... Is this a pass key, sir? And an inventory? Phillips, I am authorizing you on behalf of the City Senate to seize any and all EZO stockpiles in our treasury in order to secure safe passage for our citizens on any available ships. These look like private stockpiles, Senate member stockpiles. I'm foregoing re-election. Now get us those ships. Yes, sir. That's great. Okay. Um, any upgrades? No! No upgrades. Alright. Um, let's keep going down. See what Javik and Allers have to say. Uh, my mom's gonna be coming home any minute now, so I have to be ready to quit really quick. But um, the first place we go to is to get those server scientists. fleets delayed response. We speak with the brave men and women who fought the good fight in the battle space. Commander, I've got some questions about the coup, but I'm online with my producer right now. Can we set up an interview in your cabin? Yes, but not right at this moment. And they're saying nothing. Javik, what about you? You've probably got something to say. You've always got something to say. Traitors are the worst form of enemy. When it is not infested with traitors. Oops. He said that he'd like to visit, visit the Citadel when it's not infested with traitors. Your politician deserved far worse than a bullet. And if the other human had not seen reason, 
His death would be certain too. There is only one enemy in this war. Reapers. No others would be tolerated. I have heard about the Kylan human you encountered. It is good to have a name for the enemy. I will enjoy killing most. Yes? So he's thinking about visiting the Citadel. Now let's go see what Cortez and James have to say. Or more likely, just James. Unless Cortez has anything to say about purgatory. Never thought I'd be doing a combat drop onto the Citadel. I can't believe him, Dina. Great example to the other races, huh? Get everything okay, Shepard? Gun upgrades! Oh, my revenant. Oh, I can't afford- Oh, not cool. James? Hey, Commander. I knew Odina was a dirty bastard, but I never would have guessed he was that right. This whole war is loco. I mean, can't they all see how we need to work together? When people are scared, they're slow to trust. Sure, but... Ah, what's the point? Look, just so you know, I've got a new shoot first, ask questions later policy when it comes to politicians. Fair enough. Hey. can actually get um, her report in right now because I usually have to wait um, and I'll tell you why in a moment once we check our email yep trainer can you send Diana up she wanted an interview right away commander ready for a chat commander I'm ready Commander, it's no secret that Council Space has suffered some serious losses to the Reapers lately. Now Cerberus has struck directly at the seat of our government. If something as small as a human terrorist organization can hit the Citadel, is anywhere safe? Cerberus has limited resources. This coup attempt was likely the best they could do, and it cost them a lot of money and troops. A little fear is understandable, but it can't paralyze you. They've failed as many times as they've succeeded. But humanity has lost its counselor. The Alliance Parliament is destroyed, and the Prime Minister's dead. The line of succession is getting pretty short. How long do you expect any new Alliance administration to last? Leaders will rise. You can't lose hope. Our enemies won't rest until they've taken the last human being. Until then, we're not beaten. Right now, it's everyone's duty to step up. All right. Now a question from Thessia. Commander, during your tribunal, some said you had Cerberus ties. Thanks for your time, Commander. This is Diana Allers for Battlespace. Good night and stay strong. Be careful, Commander. You keep feeding me like this and I'll follow you home. I think we're just fine in front of the camera. Oh, did you think? Uh, of course you did. Me and my big mouth. I'd better get out of here before I send another wrong signal. See ya, Commander. Did you see the fish? Did you see the fish behind Shepard's head? Did you see what it was doing? Look at them, they're freaking out. There it is, it was that one, right there. It was freaking out, it's not doing it anymore, but it was like vibrating back and forth like that one is. Oh, that's funny. Oh, okay. Um, why am I going down here? Oh, that was great. Huh, okay. <sighs> Alright, now we've got some emails to read, and then I'm... Oh. Apparently not. Chakwas wants to talk with us. And after that, it's email time, and then I'll quit the game. Uh, 
Um, tomorrow we'll be doing the Omega DLC. Remember how we met up with Arya? Okay, Doctor. What do you have for me? May I speak with you? Commander, an opportunity has come to my attention that may interest you. What's going on, Doctor? Refugees arrived at the Citadel recently in possession of military-grade medical supplies and equipment. In reviewing our inventories, I determined we have an excess of medical supplies to treat contagion, exposure, and malnutrition. They're equipped to help injured soldiers, and we have supplies to help suffering refugees. Precisely. Perhaps you could ply your charms to broker a trade. I'll find the refugees as soon as I can. Speak with Tactus. Many of the refugees near the Citadel docks look to him for leadership. Thank you, Commander. With access to their equipment and materials, I believe I could increase the effectiveness of our Medigel. do very much today um, compared to other days but we have a long time tomorrow and then um, I have to leave for um, I'm going to like a writing Anderson is available in the war room on VidCon Commander Ugh, no emails everyone's like no Shepard you don't get to read your emails that's not allowed that's illegal no emails for you. Okay. Um, but you definitely want to take this call. It's important. Shepard. I was hoping you'd check in again. You okay? Been putting my old academy training to use. Organizing the resistance. You know you've got quite a fan club back here. Any news we hear about the Normandy gives hope to the guys in the trenches. I know what that's like, fighting in the dark. I'm glad we're making a difference. It's more than that. A lot of these people have never held a gun in their life. When they heard that you managed to get the Torians and Krogan to cooperate, that was a shot in the arm, Shepard. Of the one thing we're in short supply around here. Faith. That any of us will live to see another day. How bad is it? It could be worse, but not much. Can you still coordinate any kind of counterattack? We're hitting the Reapers every chance we get. Mostly guerrilla style hit and runs. But it's not enough. It's time we started focusing our efforts. <gasps> Call from Mom. Be right back. My mom's on her way home, and it turns out we are not arguing anymore, so I'm just gonna finish this, and we're not gonna read the emails. Waha! Where? London. Something big is happening there. Our networks in the UK say the Reapers have arrived in huge numbers. I don't like the sound of that. Any more details? No. And that scares the hell out of me. Well, the Crucible will scare the hell out of the Reapers. We're counting on it. Oh, and Shepard. I meant what I said earlier about Kai Lang. The Reapers may seem like our biggest threat, but take it from me. Lang is a vicious bastard. Don't underestimate him. Noted. Then I'll let you get back to it. We need whatever good news you can send our way. That is enough. Okay, change your mind. We are going to read the emails. Updated War Acid because of our um, interview. Okay. Emails then quit. Um, yes, so we're not arguing anymore. We're going to go see Monsters University. I'm really excited because Monsters, Inc. is Commander Shepard. Um, one of my favorite Pixar movies. It's Pixar, right? Um, I love that movie to death. I've read messages at your private terminal, Commander. Commander? Oh my goodness, okay. Aha! Oh, that's a ton! Okay. From Samantha, trainer. Commander, thanks for taking the time to speak with the civilian. 
I'd love to see how Commander Shepard kills time between missions. Why don't you give me a call if you'd like to grab drinks in your cabin? I promise a night of fun and games. Trainer. Dear Shepard, cha changing my identity was good advice. Once again, you saved my life. After we last spoke, I overheard some refugees mention Cerberus, and they said my name. I freaked out until I recognized their voices. Close friends of mine who defected in disguise and on the run, just like me. They are talented engineers, Shepard, who could help with the war effort. I've attached contact information to forward to whoever could use their help. You can trust them. Missing you, Kelly Chambers. Oh, and this is from Alars. We already looked at that. From Jack. Oh, we already met her. But let's read her email anyway. The students are kicking ass and taking names. They keep them on short rotations so they don't burn out, so we end up with lots of shore leave. Next time you hit the Citadel, come by Purgatory. I'll be there if I'm not blowing shit up in the field, Jack. Um, Elysium. An evacuation shuttle nearly destroyed as it attempted to escape the Reaper Occupy. Reaper-occupied colony of Elysium was reportedly saved after a lone biotic worker intervened. The shuttle was carrying children who drew higher numbers on the colony's evacuation lottery, meaning they were not eligible to board the first wave of shuttles leaving the planet. Their shuttle was saved in the biotic, identified by authorities as Aresh Ad Agdashlu, uh, engaged Reaper forces that were preventing it from taking off. Agdashlu had a history of drug abuse and criminal activity and claimed to have survived a Cerberus camp on Pragi as a child. Witnesses said he killed several dozen Reaper creatures before he was overwhelmed, providing the shuttle just enough time to fly clear. Oh, look, sparing arrested, arrested help. Um, from Erdnot Bakara. Commander, I'm writing you from the Kelvic Valley on Tachanka. I wish you were here to see this. I'm watching Krogan pour in from across our entire planet, so many of them that I've lost count. They've all heard the news. We are finally free. The age of suffering is over. Never again will Krogan be afraid to give birth. Never again will they fear the pain and heartache it might bring. While well, I don't know what fate ultimately has in store for my people, I can promise you your decision to believe in us will not be in vain. We will fight the Reapers for more than glory. We will fight them because we know there is a future for us after victory. The rest of my life will be devoted to traveling to Chanka and speaking aloud the words no Krogan has heard for nearly 2,000 years. There is reason to hope. This I owe, uh, I owe to you, Commander. This I will never forget. Hmm. Um, Commander Shepard, Cerberus just um, ambushed a Turian cruiser full of high-ranking hierarchy officials. The cruiser managed to escape, but its location was top secret. Cerberus couldn't have located that ship without inside information. The only other person who knew the cruiser's position was the Volus Ambassador, Dan Korlak. I've heard ugly rumors of, the of a bounty off for his head. My advisors insist I can't bring these accusations against Korlak myself. I admit they're right. The Turian and Volus economies are tightly intertwined, and now isn't the time for the political crisis that would result. But the security of our fleets is at stake. I ask that you investigate Korlak in your capacity as a Spectre and find out if he is indeed a Cerberus Mole. I've forwarded information on his last known location to the Spectre office in the Citadel. Regards, Primar Fictus. James Vega. Hey, Commander. Just wondering if you've got some time in the near future. Nothing critical. Just wanted to chat. Vega. Shepard has promised. Here's what we have on Kai Lang. Um, I'm not going to read this all out. You can... I'll just scroll a bit and you can pause and read if you really want to. Ha. Ah. Commander Shepard, I'm ordering the Normandy into dry dock on the Citadel for much needed repairs. She's seen a lot of action lately and needs a little TLC. A small army of techs will take care of the details once you arrive, so let's get your crew out of there. You're all on shore leave, that's in order. We need everyone at their best. One more thing, Admiral Anderson has an apartment on the wards. Head over there when you arrive. I hear it's a nice place. Admiral Hackett. We're not doing that. In fact, we're not doing that until the last possible moment. That is the Citadel DLC, and you get the most out of it if you wait until right before the final mission to go and do it. So, we're not doing that right now, we're doing it way later. Um, after my little rant writing camp thing and everything. So, here we are. Um, I will see you tomorrow, guys. I'm gonna go see Monsters University. Okay, bye! Hola, YouTube. So, uh, update. Um, you're probably thinking, oh, it's Thursday for Spire Girl 4, she's recording on Thursday, and we're gonna have all day to have happy recording time! Well, that's false, it's Saturday. It turned out that my mom, uh, well, I completely forgot that it was the 4th, of, <laughs> the 4th of July on Thursday, which, for those of you who don't live in America, is when we celebrate Independence Day, and so there's fireworks and lots of fun stuff to do, and people are generally off work. My mother was off work, so instead we went to Universal Studios, and while that was fun, I didn't get to do any recording. Um... But now I totally get to do some recording. It's Saturday, my mom's away for about an hour, hour and a half to go get her hair colored. So we are going to record for just a little bit. And because of that, we won't be able to get very much done. But what we're going to do is we're going to go get the ex Cerberus scientists and we're going to have fun. Now, technically, I'm supposed to be packing right now. 
Um, so I should probably do some packing. But you know what? You know what, people? No. We're gonna do some recording. Um, anyway, this mission's longer than you'd expect. It's longer than your average, uh, you know, drop in, do some stuff, get out mission, mostly because it's not one of those. Um, but it's even longer than, say, like, Grissom Academy or something. Anyway, for this one, we're taking Garrus, and we're taking Caden. Let's put him in the big bulky armor. <sighs> Our first mission with Caden since he got his head smashed in. Um, I'm gonna have some fun with this. Oh, he's gonna be need, need to be, like, seriously upgraded. Let's see, you, you still have a... Okay, what am I gonna give to you? I'm gonna give you my same, my revenant. And you definitely don't want a predator, so I'm gonna give you that one. Um, okay. No, not a scope. Hang on. Okay, Caden. And you, you've already got your stuff. Okay. <clears throat> anyway, let's give him some serious upgrades now. Because, whoa, look at all that. So we fully upgrade, Reeve, and Overload. Ooh. And then we'll just upgrade Alliance Officer, I guess. Weapon damage. Biotics. Oh, I don't have enough. Okay. Well, you're upgraded, Caden. Have fun. Anyway, I just want to get this recording done because I don't want to go off to my little trip um, without having rekindled my relationship with Caden because he's just so amazing. <laughs> Sorry, fangirling. You just ignore me over here. scientists have been holed up out here? Nothing in the mission, Brief. Ma'am, I'm picking up chatter from a Cerberus squad engaging the supply depot. Engaging the scientists? And if I'm reading it right, sounds like more troops are on the way. Okay, set us down and get out of here. I need these scientists alive. 